Yo, it's your boy Logos, and today I want to react to this very short clip talking about the Moms for Liberty. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about them over the past few years, and from my understanding, they came about due to COVID, wanting to protect their children, doing the whole COVID policy, and the mask, and the whole separation, and learning from home. From my understanding, COVID had a very big negative impact on children, socially, academically, and I think we're going to see the repercussions of that much more as time goes on. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't consider Moms for Liberty a terrorist organization like I've heard and talked about in the previous video, but they're close to like Al Qaeda and ISIS and all these other horrible killers and murderers. <laughs> it's crazy ACLU, from my understanding, labeled them a, a hate group or a terrorist organization or something like that. It just seemed like they want to protect their children. And especially when it comes to trans or LGBTQ and COVID stuff, you shouldn't be talking about sexuality to children. Just focus on school, arithmetic, and the stuff that we've been educating children on for the past, what, 50, 20 years. Doesn't mean you shouldn't progress and stay static in your teachings, but talking about sex, gender, and all this other weird stuff to underage kids, you're a groomer, you're a creep. And just because it's transgenderism or being gay doesn't make it any better than a heterosexual person does it. Get a grip. Let's see what this video got to talk about and how this going to play into the next election. Let's get into it. Tonight in Philadelphia, the latest battle in the culture wars. They want to teach cis white history and erase anything else. They have. They want to teach cis white history and race. That's that's bullshit. And the whole cis like it's a cold day in hell before I call myself cisgender. Like come on, I'm normal. There's a word. I know you can't say that word nowadays because people get upset and they're fucking sensitive. I'm normal. A mess with the <laughs> right people. My the second annual convention for Moms for Liberty is drawing top Republican presidential candidates. Don't mess with America's moms. Does that make sense? I know exactly what they're talking about. 2024 Don't mess with any mother, but yeah. is going to be the year when the parents across this country finally fight back. Tina Deskovich and Tiffany Justice started the group in 2021 in Florida as a way to fight COVID restrictions. But since then, Moms for Liberty says it's expanded to 285 chapters across 44 states with more than 120,000 members. Among other things, the organization now battles what it calls the indoctrination of children on topics such as race, gender, and sexuality. It's advocated removing what it deems inappropriate books from school libraries. They literally have books where they're talking about like body parts, not just like in the educational way, but like in the sexual manner. And talking about genders and they're talking about uh drag and they have drag queen story time like they have all this crazy weird shit in schools i'm not exaggerating this i'm not pulling this out my ass look up lips of TikTok and there's just videos and photos over and over and over again every almost every single day at this point of weirdo teachers or weirdo liberals trying to push their sexuality or politics related to it on freaking children and trying to convince them to do life altering procedures before they can even take a drink, before they even actually hit puberty, before they even understand themselves. This, this is absolutely evil in my opinion. We are disrupting the balance of power in public education. But there have been multiple reports of members harassing teachers and school board members. We are engaging these moms. They, are, they haven't had media training. Earlier this month, an Indiana chapter apologized for quoting Hitler in a newsletter. Also, the Southern Poverty Law Center has now labeled Moms for Liberty okay. an anti-government oh, extremist group. Poverty Law Center Hold has on. apologized for quoting Hitler in a new... Okay, so I can understand why they apologize because just quoting Hitler in of itself, people are going to hate you and say that you're tied to him, no matter of the context or reasoning. But I, I, just, I just find this hilarious that they had to apologize and this ms not msnbc i think nbc yeah nbc is trying to use it as some type of what evidence that they're a hate group but all the time we hear them calling people nazis this and the other for just differences of opinion they're not saying that we need to have a hitler youth group or bring back fascism or nazism he the quote simply says he alone who owns the youth gains the future and from my understanding and from listening to the content and the stuff that they push or stand against is simply saying that they don't want the children owned by the state. Because if you own the children and control the children and kick out the parents and their influence that they should have in their lives, 
You're going to be influenced by the state and they're never going to end well. The state doesn't have your best interests at heart. The, the, the state doesn't even know you. As far as the state is concerned, you're a taxpayer. So this whole idea that I'm supposed to just let the state or the government or whatever, do whatever, say whatever to my children is insane. And I don't even have children yet. But come on, these are innocent people, innocent kids, innocent children. Newsletter. Also, the Southern Poverty Law Center has now labeled Moms for Liberty an anti-government extremist group. They harm students, they harm communities, they spread ideas that are about um, conspiracy-based, about a tyrannical government that are untrue. How do you respond to that? What? We reject that. Look at our record from last year. We endorsed in 500 school board races. We won 275 of those races. That is exactly what you're supposed to do in our political process. The group is billed as a grassroots movement, but critics start questioning where the money that's funded its explosive growth is coming from. Money? The nonprofit is not required to disclose its donors. Okay, I can understand what they're saying because of money and how that can have an influence in the Republican Party. But could it just be that this organization was able to build up enough people and support in the grassroots community to get to the point where they recognize and have influence where they could get backers? Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe if you didn't try to do this stuff to people's children in public schools, you wouldn't have this issue. It's kind of crazy. You, you do stuff like this, mess with people's kids, and then they fight back against it. They're somehow terrorists or a hateful organization. But this is the kind of monster you have when these people are so wrapped out and they can't see anything that's not their own side or own opinion. Nobody's saying like people that's within like LGBTQ or whatever should, you know, die or disappear or anything like that. I don't think we're saying, or at least I'm saying, don't push your politics and your sexuality on children. Like it's crazy. Heterosexual, homosexual, whatever gender you have made up in your mind. Don't push it on children. You even got teachers now in Britain defending a student identify as a cat and have the nerve to say you shouldn't come here if you don't think your classmate is a cat. Bitch, you don't even have the authority to try to tell kids or students not to come here. But because obviously the student isn't a cat and these girls got the, funny enough, the balls to say it, that the student isn't a cat when they're like, what, 12, 13, 14 years old, but you're in La La Land? This is the world we're living in now. And I'm glad these parents, these mothers are defending their children as they should. Nobody would care about their children more than them. And it damn sure won't be the state. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's your boy Logos and I'll see you next time. Peace.